Well, how's it going everyone? This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur and welcome back to this Let's Play of Total War Rome 2. And today we're doing episode 7. And uh, so basically, um, yeah, I've, I've already worked out what I'm going to do this turn, so... Um, so there's a few things that we can expand. Um, in the province of Italia, so first, first thing we're going to do is um, turn this consecrated ground into um, a shrine of Jupiter, and so it's like I said, we need the security. And uh, and it looks like the public order in uh, Magna Gratia has stabilised, so. And that's due to the consecrated ground that I put in um, previously. So we'll put a temple uh, shrine of Jupiter there as well. And, uh, and also we'll bring our fleet back Ready to like the familiar territory. Um, I am going to, um, yeah, basically going to recruit a proper fleet, you know, so that in future if I get any enemy fleets attacking me, then I can have a proper fleet to defend my uh, ports and cities. And um, ready for orders. And so, also I'm going to raise a new army so that I can take the war to Carthage um, and defeat this uh, city, Lili, Lili Bayum. I think that's how you pronounce it, Lili Bayum. Okay, so... So we'll raise a new army and... Uh, So now we're going to choose a general. Well, this guy's got a lot of um, commander's effects. But he's from the other houses, so... Um, so I think I'm going to, going to recruit this guy because he doesn't cost anything for some reason which is uh, pretty good yep, so House of Cornelia, so we'll raise him, raise him as an army and we'll get the veteran legionaries at your command okay so soldiering, it's a good life Actually, you know, I'm not sure whether um, I'm not sure whether I need any need these velites anymore because you know, the legionaries they have their own javelins. You know, they throw javelins before they engage. Um, so but, um, I think I'll get them anyway. So. Uh, Thunderbolts of the Nine, they're totally emasculated, pretty much down to a few men left, so I don't think they'll survive for long. At your command! Actually, we could send How our agent to target this guy. So. It's going to cost me money, so... Um, nah, I don't think we will. How may I serve you? 
Come on, Jack. So, yeah, when the next turn comes, we'll just finish them off. Wipe them out. Yeah, wipe them out. <laughs> okay. All right, so we we'll end the turn. Causes reach the end of his days. Okay, Septimus Papyrus Scaver is a bad omen. All right, so we got to deal with that. have been seen flying in the Senate. This is the worst possible omen. The gods are furious. each sacred animal or sacrifice a hundred white bulls. I suppose we'll do sacrifice hundred white bulls. Um, so hopefully that works. Um, otherwise, you know, things might get out of hand. So yeah. we'll to resolve this. There's no point in us fighting a <laughs> fighting a battle. A thousand hundred and ten versus uh, and also eight hundred and forty reinforcements. Yeah. That gives us a total of about two thousand versus seventeen. I don't I don't think there's any point. So we'll just um Legionaries. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's what happens when you do auto resolve. You know, it doesn't take into account that. Um, you know. Yeah. So basically, if you fight the battle, uh, if you click on assault and you fight the battle manually, um, you actually end up with less casualties. But because I auto resolved, um, no! fourteen lost. So we'll kill all the captives. Make haste, men. 
Ready for orders. Okay, so let's bring our army back to March. Ready for further orders. Okay, so let's continue to Ready recruit. for battle. And um do need to start thinking about, you know, increasing the strength and the um, technology of, you know, basically strengthening my fleet because um, I don't want to end up with a um, subpar fleet, you know, so, yeah, so we'll go for physical conditioning, I think that's quite important for us. Legionaries just to back up my, my general. Because um, previously in some of my battles, I used my general to take on, uh, you know, some isolated units, and that's not very good because if, if the general dies, then you know, it's not it's not it's not a good thing. So, um, so where's our ship? Okay, so it's over here. Your orders. So we'll just wait for it to get back to port, and um, okay. So I think that's it. So we'll end the turn. Mistaken, perhaps it was merely shadows they saw, for there have been no further signs of the gods' displeasure. Yeah, that was a big gamble that I took there. Um, you know, sometimes when you get things like this, um, 
you can sacrifice a hundred white balls and sometimes it'll work but other times it won't so it's really sometimes it's it's a uh, yeah it's it's all it all comes down to you know yeah it comes down to chance I guess okay so we've got more money now so and um, so our public order in Magna Gratia is stabilizing, so now we've got positive change now, so... And our spy has increased in rank again. How can I be of so. assistance? doing a very good job, she's ranking up very well, so... Um. Ready for battle! we get more money um, before we, uh, you know, develop the land. So, um, I guess we need naval maneuvers to get that. Um, maybe we'll convert this to. We'll get this. Convert this to a harbour. Take three turns. That gives us six food and forty wealth from maritime commerce. I think we'll get um Yeah, I think we'll convert this to a harbour. I think they'll be better for us. Because we already have a, a ship right, so you know the benefits are province wide, so alright, so um guess it will end the turn again. Boys, this is taking a long time. Yeah, it's, it's really, yeah, this is the thing I, would, I don't like about this game, it's the, it takes too long between turns.
to. Commander. So we can select a select a household for him. That's an armor. Okay, so so now I'm going to attack this city with my new army and but before that we need to request military access from, from uh, Syracuse Greetings honoured guest I serve as my people's ears and tongue listening and speaking as will please Well done. Rome's armies should be able to march where they are needed. You have wisdom indeed. Yeah, it's important, uh, you know, before you, you know, if you have an ally or someone that's that you're not, um, um, you know, you know, if it's another nation and you want to bring your army into their territory, you need to request military access. Otherwise, you get a um, you know, a huge uh, penalty hit orders. to your diplomatic relations with that nation, so... On the move! Is that all? So I think we will just end the turn. Um, but before we Police do that, um, let's see what else we can build for our fleet.
king or their armies to to li Lily Bayum. Um, yeah, the AI is pretty um, pretty much improved um, since 1. 1.8.0. Um, as you can see, you know, when I, as soon as I brought my land army into uh, near their territory, they they suddenly just bring all their you know, bring bring a huge you know army to start garrisoning and, and uh, be ready for my uh, army coming against them. So. So who knows? Maybe I do need to, you know, get more men. Okay, so Uh, a siege technology. But um, we do have quite a few turns before we need to do that, so... Um, Actually, I think we will get iron tools first. So before we research any um, anything else. Yeah, we have 17 turns before that, that thing is due, so. expand um, so let's let's see what we can build in Rome so we'll develop, the, develop that city and see let's see how many how many people how many army how much army they've brought okay so I think they've brought quite a few so um, we hunger for battle Ready for battle. March. You have further orders? Yeah, I think we're going to need more legionaries. So we'll recruit three more. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Okay.
think we'll replace it with 5% um, armor. So I think we're going to need that. Alright, so let's march on uh, and also I think we'll issue a, a different um, provincial edict. I think we'll need more tax, need more money. Nice uh, attack and defense bonuses, so we'll replace it. Okay, so we just we've got the same thing here already, so. Just uh, research the armored siege units first. Um, Commander. So we're at war with Carthage. So we can attack them. Punic rebels. Kill them all! Yeah, no point. No point fighting, fighting those. So we've got to resolve. Your next command. 
We hunger for battle. So maybe we'll give him authority. Um, some leadership qualities. Uh, and then we'll, we'll... Ready for orders. And then we'll march on this city. Laying siege to the settlement! Okay, so we've got uh Should be pretty easy. Um, these are, I think, these are plebs, which are pretty much, you know, just average, um, average citizens armed with a knife or something like that. So, General, Basil Group, awaiting orders. orders. Jupiter gives us strength. Legionaries. Battle group ready orders. and awaiting orders! Battle group ready, ready and, and awaiting orders! Grouped and ready! Orders understood! Ready. Yes, Commander! Ready. Ready. Happy to serve Rome! Rome. Open the armors! Orders! Commander! Commander! Ready! Understood! Okay, so... Legionaries! Our general at the back. Sons of Mars! Legionaries Brave at the front. Brave Romans to a man! Legionaries! And then Delete. the Bellites. General! Alright. By the way, we just have a look at the layout of the land, so... So I think maybe one battle group can go through here, another group go through here, another through here, so... Um, so yeah, I think we'll move them closer to this location. So they're in the woods. We are come once more to battle. And not all of us will live to see tomorrow's dawn. However, I wish you good fortune for the day. May your names live in fame for a hundred years. Uh, 
uh, another thing that I felt that I should do more is um, use the cinematic mode um, so that we can see the battle up close rather than just seeing it from a bird's eye view which I think is yeah, not as uh, interesting sign of the enemy forces so I don't know where they are but I'm sure that they are hanging around somewhere around here they're blocked from my line of sight okay so we're pretty much in position now so
So, yeah, so as you can see, you know, if you if you manually, you know, fight the battle, you actually lose. Chances are you will lose less soldiers because you know, rather than letting the computer do the uh, the maths, you know, the auto resolve. At your command. I think we should get engineering experts as well. should uh, convert them to our own buildings. Okay, so we'll do the, we'll convert that one the next turn. Okay, so um, I think that will end this uh, episode, so uh, thanks everyone for joining me, uh, so I'll see you in the next one, take care.